now we will move into the next topic uh, that is called uh, conditional probability let omega capital F capital P be a probability space we are not making any assumption over this probability space if a comma b belonging to f both are events with the p of a is greater than 0 that means it is not a impossible event impossible event means uh, the probability with that event is equal to 0 and uh, sure event means the probability of uh, that event is equal to 1 A rare event means uh, the probability of uh, that event is open interval between 0 to 1 so here it is a non impossible event then the probability of the event B under the condition the event A that is defined as P of event B slash event A that is same as P of A intersection B divided by P of A. This is well defined because the probability of A is strictly greater than 0. So, this conditional probability is going to be probability of B given A is same as probability of A intersection B divided by probability of A. This is called the conditional probability of event B given event A. Few properties uh, on the conditional probability, but before that uh, let me give the definition of uh, independent events, then I will come to the results on the conditional probability. The first definition, two events A and B are said to be independent if and only if the intersection probability is same as the product of uh, the individual probabilities it is a if and only if condition whenever this condition is satisfied by any two events then we call it as both the events are independent if two events are independent then this condition will be satisfied based on this uh, i am going to give uh, two definition one is called a uh, pairwise independent the other one is called mutually independent the next definition that is a uh, pairwise independent events a sequence of uh, events ai where i is equal to 1 2 so on is said to be pairwise independent if you take any two events that satisfies uh, the independent property that is uh, p of a i intersection a j that is same as p of a i into p of a j for all i is not equal to j. So, if you take any two events that satisfies the independent condition then we conclude uh, this 
sequence of events or this collection of events are called pairwise independent if it satisfies the independent condition. The next definition that is a mutually independent events. A sequence of uh, events A is is said to be said to be mutually independent mutually independent if and only if for any finite for any finite sub collection that is a one a2 so on a k the probability of a1 intersection a2 and so on intersection a k that is same as p of a1 multiplied by p of a2 and so on p of a k for all k that is very important. That means, uh, if you take uh, k is equal to 2. So, if you take any two events in this collection that satisfies the independent property or independent condition or if you take any three events that also satisfies the independent condition like that uh, if you take uh, all the possible number of events that is a sub collection from that collection of events satisfies the independent property then we conclude they are mutually independent events. Sometimes uh, we would not use the word mutually if you say that a few events are independent that means by default they are mutually independent events. You see the previous definition that is a pairwise independent events, but that is satisfied only for uh, any two events not 3 or 4 or 5 independent properties not going to be satisfied. That means, uh, the mutually independent events implies they are pairwise independent, but the pairwise uh, independent event need not imply the mutually independent events for the collection of uh, events. So, let us go for one simple example for uh, pairwise independent and the mutually independent then we will move into the properties on the condition property. So, the example as follows let uh, omega consisting of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 let A be the event consisting of uh, only two elements 1 and 2. Similarly, P is the element consisting of 1 and 3 and C is the element consisting of 1 and 4 and uh, we assume that uh, we assume that uh, probability of singleton element uh, W that is equal to 1 divided by 4 for W is equal to either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Now, we will verify whether uh, these uh, events satisfies the pairwise independent as well as mutually independent or only it satisfies the pairwise independent not the mutually independent. Let us go for finding a A intersection P that is nothing but the sample 1 and similarly if you go for a, a intersection C that is also single element 1. If you go for B and C that is also single element 1. If you go for A intersection B intersection C that is also single element 1. Whereas, if you compute the P of A that is 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 
and P of B that is also 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 and P of C P of C that is also again 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2. Now, if you compute P of A intersection B that is going to be 1 by 4. Similarly, if you compute B of A intersection C that is also 1 by 4. Similarly, P of B intersection C that is also 1 by 4. Whereas, P of A intersection B intersection C that is also 1 by 4. For example, if you test P of A into P of B into P of C that is going to be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 8 which is not same as a P of A intersection B intersection C. Whereas, uh, if you go for P of uh, A intersection B that is same as uh, 1 by 4 that is same as uh, P of A into P of B. Similarly, probability of uh, A intersection C that is same as P of A into P of C. Similarly, P of uh, B intersection C that is same as P of B into P of C. That means, uh, it satisfies the independent condition for any two events not for uh, all three events. That means, in this example A, B and C are uh, pairwise independent events, but uh, they are not uh, mutually independent events, because it does not satisfy the independent property for uh, three events. So, this is a very simple example uh, conclude uh, pairwise does not imply the mutually independent events uh, in general. Now, let us go for uh, some properties on uh, conditional probability. Some important properties on conditional probability. The first one, so before that uh, we have a probability space, let uh, omega capital F P be a probability space. In that probability space we are going to give the properties. The first one P of uh, the conditional probability that is a probability measure. Condition probability that is also a probability measure over omega condition on the event A. That means uh, it satisfies uh, the axiomatic uh, properties of the probability that is the uh, three properties P of uh, A's are always greater than or equal to 0 for all A belonging to F and P of a empty set, uh, P of a whole set is 1 and mutually disjoint events P of union is same as a summation of a P of A's. The same thing here also it is satisfied. Here the P of a, a given A that is going to be 1 uh, whereas in the axiomatic definition of probability the P of omega is 1. Here the conditional probability that is also probability space uh, here P of A given A that is equal to 1. Second important property that is uh, if uh, A intersection B is empty set then the conditional probability of uh, event B given A that is going to be because this is same as uh, probability of B intersection A divided by probability of A. 
since A intersection B is empty set, P of empty set is 0, therefore uh, probability of B given A that is equal to 0. Third uh, result or third property, P of B intersection C given A that is same as the conditional probability of uh, event B given A intersection C multiplied by P of uh, event C given A. If the probability of A intersection C is greater than 0. Whenever you want to compute uh, probability of B intersection C given A that can be computed in the form of a probability of B given A intersection C multiplied by P of uh, that is multiplied by probability of uh, event C given A whenever uh, probability of A intersection C is greater than 0. The next result related to the conditional probability, if uh, a 1, A 2 and so on, A n, n events belonging to F with the probability of A 1 intersection A 2 intersection A n minus 1, if that probability is strictly greater than 0, then one can define probability of intersection of uh, n events the assumption is a intersection of n minus 1 events probabilities greater than 0, we have n events belonging to f, then one can find the probability of a intersection of n event is same as probability of a 1 multiplied by probability of a 2 given a 1 multiplied by probability of a 3 given A 1 intersection A 2 multiplied by the same way the last element is a probability of A n given A 1 intersection A 2 intersection so on intersection A n minus 1. This is possible whenever you have a n events and the probability of intersection of n events provided uh, probability of intersection of n minus 1 events is greater than 0, one can always uh, find uh, the product of conditional probability with the intersection of events. This is valid for uh, any countable number of uh, events satisfying these conditions. We, there is no assumption over the events to apply this result. Now, suppose these events are mutually independent or mutually independent events, then the results are going to be simplified as follows. That means, uh, suppose A 1, A 2, A n are mutually independent events all are belonging to F. Suppose these events are mutually independent events belonging to F, then the P of A 1 intersection A 2 intersection and so on A n that is same as we are retaining the other condition intersection of a P of a, a n minus 1, n minus 1 events that is probability is greater than 0, we are keeping that in. P of a, a 1 intersection A 2 intersection A n that is same as, you see the previous one, first one is P of A 1, the second one P of A 2 given A 1. Since uh, A 1 and A 2 A n are mutually independent events, the intersection uh, the conditional probability A 2 given A 1 
that is going to be a probability of only a 2. Therefore, this is going to be probability of a 2. Similarly, probability of a 2 given a 1 intersection a 2 that is again going to be probability of a 3 and so on. The last one it is p of a. That means, uh, if uh, events are mutually independent, then the intersection probability is the same as the product of individual probabilities. So, this can be proved also. So, I am just using that result. 